Hello and welcome to another screencast from Kalala. My name is Mahesh. I also go by the handle Vyoma. In this tutorial, we will look at how to illustrate wings in Inkscape. I created this video for Kalala. If you are viewing this video on YouTube or elsewhere, do check out the website. At kalalog.com, I have several tutorials and articles on drawing, illustration and painting. Okay, let us start. To illustrate wings, we will start off with some basic shape that I will use as a guide. You do not need to be very exact while drawing this shape. This is a shape we would use only as a guide. Now here is some quick study I had done earlier on how to create an illustration quite effectively. So as you can see it basically contains, uh, contains three, three different sections but that is how I have planned. So this would be the base layer for which we would mostly be taking a darker tone and the mid tone would be covering most of it. And then with a still lighter tone we would be putting in the details. So, so let's start that on Inkscape. So what we'll do is we'll first assume this to be the uh, darker tone and then for detailing uh, let us start creating some feathered shapes. So here I start off with a triangular shape. At the tip of the triangle, I use the node editor to uh, create curves, the busier curves. And then uh, let us select a tone for this. Um, and let me turn off the stroke uh, one more thing I will do is the pivot point, I will change the pivot point for that I will select the object, select it again actually click on it again <coughs> and move this pivot point right to the stem of the feathered shape now I move this somewhere here I don't need to fit it exactly but I'll use the size tool and maybe even the rotate tool now you'll see that when I'm rotating it will rotate across this pivot point next what I do is I do control C and a control V You'll notice that the pivot point has been preserved.
I'll adjust the shape of it. It's fine if you know, you see here that the edges are coming off a bit, but that is fine. We'll be cleaning them up later. So I make another copy of it again with the control C and the control V. And I repeat the process. Now why I did that is it was leaving too much of a gap so sometimes I might use the node editor to go in and adjust that. Place it there, resize it and adjust the curve if required. Now I won't worry about the last section here too much uh, in terms of the gaps it leaves between these sections because from my study we have seen that we will be covering it up with the even lighter tone. So I just keep making copies. Okay, now I'll be combining these shapes. Before that, let me keep a copy of the shape so that I don't have to create it again. Now what I'll do is I'll select all the shapes except the guide that we had used. And then I will use path and union to make it a single shape. Before that, you'll notice here let me go to the node editor these are multiple shapes here that's not of much use for us so we might as well simplify and combine all the shapes you see I mean it has become a one single shape so now when I move it around it will be just one shape I don't need to select them all again and again <coughs> Let me clean up some of them. And roughly match my guide. So now that we have that, let us start off with the lighter tone. So I switch to a lighter tone still having the stroke off 
also about midway there from this from this corner similar process of making copies and making minor adjustment to the curves select again rotate adjust the size adjust the position if required make a copy control c control alt v or control V rotate adjust the size I'm fine with leaving gaps here because that would uh, show just the tone of the lower layer. We'll see it's a bit messy here. Uh, we'll clean that up so before doing that uh, let me just remove the guide I have no use for it now then what I'm going to do is uh, I'll select all these shapes deselect the earlier shape and again do a path union so now we just have two shapes here one is this and this is the other Okay, now to clean up the shape, what I'll do is I'll take a pen, take the pen tool, and then try to draw curved shape that covers the messy area. And I'm going to select both these shapes, the lighter feather tone as well as the new shape that I have drawn and combine them. Okay, I don't need this shape anymore so let me delete that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both these shapes do a control C control alt V to copy it on spot now you see that uh, it's an exact copy of the previous one then what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine both these shapes and give it a very dark tone and then I'm going to So resize it a bit more scale it up a bit more actually and then I'm going to send it to back send this particular shape to the back of all the previous shapes
there you have it an illustrated way what you can do is you can group these two together and you can set the pivot point to somewhere at this corner here so that when you rotate it it pivots around that point Hope you like this tutorial. Please do check out kalalog.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment section below. Thank you.